All right, today is the day. I'm Jay Jarvie, and we're here in the Build a Creator Studios with another episode from our Engineering and Designing with FRPs. Today we're going to cover how to create multiple complex parts from a single plug, or the plot method. So without further ado, let's go see how it's done. The most accurate and professional method is to CNC machine the molds themselves out of a hard substance such as aluminum. But as you can guess, this could become quite expensive and the price is likely just not justified for a one-off prototype or even a small production run. The next, although also expensive method is to CNC carve the parts out individually from a foam block. To get a workable surface, the foam model must also then be encapsulated in epoxy or another hard substance and the surface machined once again. So how do we close the gap between accurate but prohibitively expensive and accurate but affordable. Probably the most inexpensive method is to simply build our plug and produce our parts by laying laminations right on top of that plug. However, a more complicated piece with multiple parts just not work by this method. Once a part is removed, the individual part becomes flimsy and the edges are frayed from the cutout process. The parts could be reinforced and the edges repaired, but there is a better method. The method I'm referring to is parting line opposite projection, or the plot method, for short. Once our plug has been produced and the parting line is defined, a clay wall or flashing can be installed to produce a 90 degree angle, or a dam as it's often referred to. This will help form the edges of our mold. Once our mold is made, this projected edge, or reverse flange along our parting line, helps to stiffen the mold. But more importantly, it acts as a surface to attach a flashing a flashing that then completes our molds in a three-dimensional form. Parts made from the mold now have a finished edge and are also much stronger. This is only the beginning of the beauty of this method. Let's take a look now how the plot method can give us an accurate alignment of our molds and help us produce complex fitted parts. Since we've shown examples from an automobile prototype in the examples already, let's see how this would work in completing that project. Now that we have multiple molds, each with a reverse flange, we can assemble the molds together. Before we do that, let's insert a thin piece of aluminum sheet metal flashing into the parting line. Once the flashing is in place, the mold sections can be clamped or bolted together, assuring that the two mold sections are aligned. We can also add some fillet wax to produce a nice radius corner in the finished part. Now we're ready to lay up our lamination and add a core for added strength. After our parts have cured, we can unbolt the molds and remove them, as well as the flashing can be removed and discarded. What is left are two perfectly aligned parts with radius edges and a convenient return flange. Let's explore now how we can use the flange to continue with the creation of more complex components. This side being the door, we can trim off the flange and add an inner casing or a clamshell. On the opposite side, we can also add another clamshell or a molded in place edging that complements our door casing. Add some upholstery, trim, and weather stripping, and we have a complete system with true three dimensional fit, strength, form, and function. There you have it the plot method, a simple system to create multiple parts from a single point. I hope you enjoyed the video and got some useful information. This video is number 10 in our engineering and designing with FRPs. So make sure you subscribe below so that we can remind you when the other videos become available. Also, if you have any questions, make sure you put those in the comments. I'd love to be able to answer those for you if I can. Anyway, thanks for stopping by Builder Creator Studios, and we hope to see you again next time.